Hello, John Goff here, Junior RNCM. I'm talking today to Ted about the position of the hand, and in particular, the drawing together of the thumb and the little finger. Just try doing that. Yes. What do you notice? Uh, that the energy in your hand's fixed. Yes. These three fingers actually feel quite spare, don't they? What I'm going to do then is try and um, adapt that into a, some sort of trill exercise using the third, fourth and the fifth fingers, which are fairly weak normally. But by putting the thumb under the hand like that, um, you're keeping the weight very much over the outside of the hand. Just try doing that. And tell me what you notice. And now put the thumb back in the normal place. Can you see often you, you, you end up taking the strain in the thumb? Yeah. So you're actually using energy that you don't really want to use. If you took it under the hand, um, it's and more focused. Yes, it is. It also means that the, the the shape of the hand is going to stay a bit more natural. It's not going to collapse. If you've got that support underneath there from the thumb to be able to work the third, fourth, and fifth fingers. Yes, and you can hit any sort of combination. Blacks and whites. You can still keep your thumb under the hand. Good. Mm -hmm.